Hello everyone, welcome back. We are uh, here to take a look at, uh, at a lever action rifle. We've got a Marlin, Marlin 1895 guide gun, or just the 1895G. Um, Marlin has a pretty rich history of making lever action rifles and, and a lot of other things, obviously. Um, you know, they are founded in, what was it, like 1870, <laughs> so... Um, been around for a very long time, although we do have the caveat of uh, 2007, uh, yeah, 2007, Remington bought Marlin, and uh, uh, I know a lot of you out there know sort of about the quality issues that they were seeing from, it's like 2008 to 2010, and I don't really like to... Um, deter people from buying things, but those years of Marlins, I personally would stay away from. Just their, their quality just floundered during that time period. It is what it is. <clears throat> However, if you want one new now, I wouldn't have any worry about it. This one I actually bought two years ago, and I bought this because here in the uh, state of Ohio, we aren't allowed to hunt with uh, any cartridge that isn't straight wall. So the 4570, which is this big old bad boy right there, these are some uh, 325 grain Hornady. Uh, what do they call these, like lever action revolution or lever rution or some crazy name? I can't remember exactly what it is, but they're Hornadies and they're nice big, uh, big torpedoes there, aren't they? <laughs> um, but this is a straight wall cartridge. Uh, so yeah, no 270, 30-06, 308, whatever. Uh, you know, it's just the way the state of Ohio runs it. Maybe one day we'll catch up to other states. But, you know, two years ago we were allowed to, or three years ago, I guess, technically, we were finally allowed to run straight roll cartridges, which include a plethora of, uh, of different cartridges. But the 4570 is what I personally um, settled on for my uh, rifle of choice for for hunting season and uh, you know I bought this rifle got a fairly good deal on it new uh, I think after taxes and everything it was probably about six hundred dollars and you know one thing we've seen in the state of Ohio is really an increase in price in lever actions because of this new new law or rule going into effect so to get one of these under six hundred dollars was was pretty good pretty good um, let's talk a little bit about the rifle itself. Um, 18 and a half inch barrel. It does hold four rounds in the tubular magazine located under the barrel. Um, we do have some some decent uh, wood st uh, wood uh, four in here, and then uh, stock um, with a little bit of a swing it around, just a little bit of a butt pad there. Nothing really for recoil sake, uh, just so the wood just doesn't jam in your shoulder. Um, it doesn't kick a ton, personally. I think I love it. I love the feel of it. It, it really does um, turn heads at a range because it's it's loud, it's proud, it's ready to <laughs> ready to show some American spirit. Uh, it does have a, a pretty good amount of muzzle rise, though. I will uh, say that um, that's fairly significant. So racking off rapid fire in one of these can be a little bit difficult. Um, and if I remember correctly, I believe the barrel it has a 1 in 20 twist to it, if I remember correctly, for those of you who care about that sort of stuff. But, uh, you know, on the wood we do have some nice uh, checkering there, just for your hand. A little bit of, uh, you know, checkering here. Um, I added this little ammo holder, uh, you know, just for taking it out hunting. And, and, of course, the sling. We do have the sling point up here, and then the sling point up here uh, so obviously you can attach a sling <laughs> da -da. Um, we do have our sights we've got our rear and our front sight here and we'll it's a pretty pretty decent sight picture like uh, you know all things considered it's it's really not all that bad for iron sights I uh, I can be pretty accurate with this. This back is somewhat adjustable. Um, actually, I think the front is adjustable as well. 
That's yeah, you can adjust it a little bit if you feel like doing that. Um, out of the box, I didn't do any adjustments with it, and it seems to shoot pretty fine. Let's talk about the action itself. Lever actions are one of the coolest rifle actions, one of the coolest actions out there in my opinion. Um, this rifle does lack some of the refinement of some of its older, uh, you know, co cousins, brothers, sisters, whatever. So, you know, it's it's not it's not horrible, but it, it, it there is a little bit more resistance on the initial rack. The uh, the lever itself is somewhat unrefined. I wish they could have taken away some of the edging, maybe made it a little bit more smooth, and I think you you probably would have had a much nicer. Um, much nicer rack there. It can kind of tear up your hand a little bit if you're doing a lot of racking, especially if you don't really have your hand, if you're just sort of screwing off with the tips of the fingers or something of that nature. The trigger is fairly nice. It's definitely a little bit longer than some of my other hunting style rifles, like, uh, you know, the, like a, the 308 Tatika that I have. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not bad, it's just deliberate. Deliberate is the word I would, I would uh, say. It's not hairpin, it's not, it's not heavy, but it's just deliberate. It, it's definitely a, yes, I'm pulling this kind of trigger. So, you know, again, not bad. Um, I personally would like it a little lighter, just for a hunting trigger. I tend to view hunting triggers... It's something I, I want to have pretty light. So anyway, uh, we do have a half cock option here as well, just so you know. Um, loading gate, very important for me. Now one of the things that we see a lot is the battle between the Henry and the Marlin um, as being you know, the, the hunter of choice. I prefer loading gates as opposed to where the Henry, you would take out you know, your... your uh, your tube would have a, a stopper. You would twist out the stopper, take out this big long brass tube, and feed the rounds through the top. Whereas I like to feed them through that loading gate up and in. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I will say this loading gate is fairly stiff. Uh, brand new. They're fairly stiff. That's something that over time should lose a little bit of that stiffness, which would be a great thing. Um, but yeah, like I said, everything about this rifle just you know, it screams Americana, and I love it to death. I really have had no problems with this rifle, personally. To me, it was a, it was a good investment, especially being my hunting gun. And, uh, and I just hunt with iron sights. I mean, you, you know, you could attach a scope on the receiver there if you wanted, but uh, for me, that seems a little sacrilegious. I don't know about you. Um, yeah, well, I guess uh, one other thing, it does have a safety uh, let's swing it around here. So we have our safety here, of course. So, uh, you know, we have our white safe markings on the other side. Again, um, that's, you know, that's its safety. With the safety on, it still will allow you to manipulate the trigger and the hammer. Um, but it, it basically, all it does is, uh, stops the hammer from going all the way down. So when you're on safe, you see it there? It stops the hammer from going all the way down and then when you have uh, have the safety off, the hammer fully contacts the firing pin. Um, whether you like that or not, I don't I don't know. Personally, me, I, uh, I really I'm not a big fan of that, I guess. It's a little bit disconcerting. Like I said, you can still maneuver the, the the lever, you know, everything. It's still all maneuverable. It just won't like fully contact the firing pin. So, you know, whatever. I, I, I guess that's sort of like one of those points. It, it is safe. I accidentally, the first time I took it out, I accidentally, actually, no, the second time I took it out, I was firing this with the safety on. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> you know, I was like, "Why isn't this thing firing?" And I looked at the, you know, the rounds. Like it's not striking. So anyway, I finally figured out my my idiocy there and was able to you know, have a good fun range day. 
but it was a little disconcerting, so I'm not a huge fan of that safety, as it were, but it is what it is. It, it, it works. Let's put it that way. I know it works. Uh, so, good job, Marlin, or Remington, I guess we should call it. So anyway, yeah, guys, this is the uh, the Marlin 1895G guide gun, chambered in 4570 uh, from the Marlin Firearms Company uh, in lieu of Remington. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's about all for that one. But, uh, you know, guys, I, I appreciate you all watching the videos and, uh, you know, the MRE videos, the firearms videos. Been getting a lot of good views there, even for a small channel. Uh, definitely picking up likes and subscriptions and comments, so I just encourage you to keep uh, doing all that for me. I like hearing from all you guys, I like hearing your your uh, your comments on the video, um, and uh, you know definitely keep subscribing so we can continue to get bigger. And also in the description, you will see a link to uh, to my Patreon page. It's not mandatory. I'm not pandering to you. Just saying if you want to help out with the with the cause, so to speak. Uh, you can head over to Patreon and you know pledge a little bit of money, donate a little bit, and uh, all that just goes directly back into what I'm doing here, into the hobby. Maybe buy me a couple more MREs or you know <laughs> ammo, you know hopefully, and then we can get into range videos as we go along. But like, thank you all for watching, and you'll have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.